welcome CSE 121. This is exercise 21C, and it's part of our list exercises, very short exercises, but hopefully designed to make you think a little bit. And I didn't come up with all of these exercises. I modified them a little bit from things that I found online from certain sites that had Python exercises and some number exercises. So that's where I got this from. And one thing I just want to remind you first, if you haven't signed up or enrolled into the Repellent Classroom or the Replit Classroom yet, make sure you use the link. This is in our announcements. I think it also came in an email, but if you click on this, you can enroll in the classroom. Now, I'm already enrolled, and the way it works is pretty much like your regular Repellent. If you go to your regular uh, Repellent, and I'll just keep calling it Repellent instead of Replit for now, but once you get in here, if you don't see the classroom, if you're like, well, where's the classroom? This looks the way it usually looks. You could just go down here to students. Once you enroll, you'll see this students thing. And then you could go down here and you'll see the different classrooms and just click on that. And that's where you'll see your assignments. And I'm going to go into this assignment because I already recorded videos for these. So I'm going to go into this one and I didn't do this one yet. And I think this is how it starts. And there's some instructions over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a list of numbers of 1 through 10 and find the multiples of 3 or 5. So, for example, if you had all the natural numbers from 1 through 10, which ones can be divided by 3 or 5? Now, that would be 3, 6, and 9 for the 3. And that would be 5 and 10 for the 5. So that would be 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10. That would be 5 numbers. So you're going to print out those multiples, which would be 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And you would also print out the total, which would be five, because there would be five of them. And then finally, you're going to sum them all up. So you're going to do three things. Print out all the multiples, print out the total of them, or how many there are, and you'll use that with a counter. And then also a sum, which you can also use a counter somewhat for that as well. So that's what we're going to do. And it's probably easier to start off with the small number, and then you could just plug in the larger number. So this won't be that hard to do. And we're also going to make sure we use a function and a function call. So we just have to put everything in a function. So it won't be that hard to do. So I started with a loop here just to give you a little head start for getting the numbers together. Now what you're going to do in here, before I even get started, I'll make my function. So I'll just say def, and I'll call my function multiples 3, 5. And I don't need any arguments, and I'll hit return. And that for loop will be inside there. And now we're going to indent one level further. And what we're going to do, even before we start printing out i, which would just be the numbers 1 through 10, we're going to put a condition here. So we're going to say if, and if they're multiples, that means that i is going to use the modulus, which is that percent sign, and the 1 is going to be 3. So if it's divisible by 3 and the remainder is 0, that means it's divisible by 3. Or if i is divisible by 5, then we could use the modulus again. And put 5 there and say equals equals 0. And remember, you got to use equals equals if you're talking about conditions. And then we have another colon here. So we're, we're going another level in here in our function. And then if they meet that criteria, we're going to print out i. That'll be the process of just printing out i. So that'll be the one where we just print out the multiples. This will help us print out the 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we're going to start off with just those and make sure we get it right. And then we'll just plug in our bigger number and you'll be done. So that's the first part. Now, to make this happen before we do anything else, I'm going to move out to the margin, and I'm just going to call my function. And there's my function call, and I don't need anything else, and I should be able to run it. And there's my 3, 5, 6, 9, 10. So that's working. So we got the first part done, so that's working. And then it also says we're going to print out the total of the multiples. So we have five of these, so how do we add these up? Now remember, we can put things in lists and all that, but we should be able to do this with counters as well. So what we're going to do is count up every time we print out a number, because we printed out five numbers. So if we just count every time we print, that's pretty easy to do. Now we could still put this in our function, and if it's not part of the loop, it won't reset. So we're just going to put like a count in here. We could call it count, counter, whatever, and we'll just make sure it starts at zero. And then after each time it prints, we're just going to add one to it, because that will count up how many multiples. So I'm going to say count, and we could use the shortcut plus equals one. So that's going to basically count up how many times it goes through. So it starts at zero, and every time it prints out one, it'll count one, two, three, four, five, and it should give us a, a count. Now, to print this out, we don't want to print it out in the loop. We did want to print out all the numbers that were going through in the loop, but we don't want to print this out. We want to print it after everything's done. So I'm going to hit return here and then just move back to the margin. And, well, actually, I can, I can do this as part of the function. I could put that in the function and just leave it here on the first level of the function and just say print and I'm going to print out count. 
And just so you know what it means, we could just put a string in here and say, I guess the number of multiples we could use that and put that in quotes so it's a string and then just put a comma and it'll automatically put a space there. And if you wanted to put a colon, you could do that too. So it should print on our numbers and then it should say number of multiples and then a count. So let's see if this works. And it should be five and that works so it counted out correctly. And the next part should be almost as easy. Now, there could be different ways to do this. You might say, well, okay, if I have to add them up, that's a little different than just counting them. Maybe I can add them to a list and then do a sum function and add up a list. And that's one way to do it. Or another way you can do it is because we're getting these numbers, we're getting I out of here, we could just keep adding I to some kind of counter. In other words, instead of a count, and maybe we'll just make a counter called the sum of the nums. Or you could call it the sum of the molts, whatever. I'll start that off at zero as well. And what we'll do down here, instead of just adding one, we could still start with some nums. So that is going to be zero. And we're going to say sum nums, or whatever you call it. And I'm going to say plus or equals, because we're going to add to it. Or you could just say equals, if, if you're not sure, if you want to think it through. You could say num, sum nums equals sum nums, and then you could do plus i. And basically what that'll do is it'll say, okay, the first time around, it'll get the first number and it'll say, okay, zero equals zero plus i. And the first i will be three, so it'll have three. And now some nums will now be equal to three. So then when it goes through the loop again, it's gonna say three equals three plus, and the next number will be five. And that's how it's gonna add it up. So that's one way to do it instead of putting in a list. So we'll try that. And again, you could, instead of doing some nums equals some nums plus i, you could certainly do the plus equals i, that'll work as well. So this time, instead of just adding one, you're adding the value of i to it, which is the number it gets when it goes through here. So we'll try that out. And, and again, we wanna have another print statement and we could keep it right in the function. And this will be sum of multiple. And based on what we have so far, we already have the data. So it should be 33 if we're working this okay. And this won't be count, this will be sum nums or whatever you wanna call it. And we could try that out and we'll run it. And there's my three, five, six, nine, ten. number of multiples five, sum of multiples 33. So it's working. So from here, it's easy. All we have to do now is just change this number to 501 since it says one to 500. So we'll just make this 501. And I think that's all we have to do. I think that's the only thing we have to do here to actually get all those numbers. So let's run this. And now we get all these numbers through until you get at the end it's telling you there's 233 numbers, and the sum of multiples should be 58,418. So if you get those numbers, you did it right. So that's all you have to do for 21C. And then when you're done, if that works, if you get 233 and 58,418, and depending how you do it, whether you could do a list, whatever, uh, but if you do it this way, it's probably the, the least amount of code, I think. You could just hit submit, so I'm gonna submit mine, and there it is, it's now submitted. So now I'm going to work on the one with leap years, but I'll do that in another video.